Have you ever thought about becoming a coach? A life coach, a health coach, a mindset coach, you name it coach. There's a bunch of different coaches out there. Well, today you're in luck because I'm going to help you with that. I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher turned online business coach and I help coaches, teachers, and course creators make more money in their business. So today what we're gonna talk about is how you can become a coach and get paid. And I'm gonna go through some great details and answer some questions that I get asked. The first one I get asked a ton, do I need to get certified? And the answer is yes and no. So here's my belief. Do you need to be certified to become a coach? Well, if you're an expert in something, you know, like if you're a public speaker and you're really good at it, you don't have to go get a certificate. If you're a health provider and you've already done or you're licensing, you don't need to go get a certificate. If you are in any other field where you're an expert, you don't need a certificate. If having a certificate, certificate, certificate <laughs> helps you, makes you think that you're coming across as being more professional, then maybe you need to do that. But be careful, because there are a lot of certificate programs out there. Man, I'm having a hard time with that word. <laughs> a lot of different programs out there, and some are really expensive. You don't have to pay a ton of money for them. Here's what I do think you need to do. If you're trying to get into coaching, right? And I'm not talking about being a therapist or a a counselor, I'm talking about coaching, whether it's life coaching, business coaching, mindset coaching, etc. Rather than get a license, certification, <laughs> I, I can't get that off my tongue. What I would do is I'd go get into somebody's coaching program and learn from them, right? Because it, it's there's some really good coaches out there. And to tell you the truth, I'm in three of them right now. On, and they're all are teaching me something different, right? I, I mean, with one, it's just a great mindset and um, questioning coaching program. The other one is, is teach me how to put a portal up, a training portal up. And the third is just like, she's just unbelievable. She's just teaching me to believe in me. So if you have never been a coach before, here's what you do. You want to become a good coach, and that means practicing. Maybe with friends, you know, I don't know what type of coach you want to be, if it's a life coach or, or whatever. You want to be very good at it. So you either get inside a coaching program. Again, you don't need a piece of paper to say you're a coach, but I would suggest you get inside a program where you can learn, one, how to ask questions, and two, to become an active listener. See, the third thing you want to do is you want to know how to get your client's results. You want to know is how do you get them where they want to go? And a lot of times it's through questioning. Because they might say one thing, but by asking a couple questions, some other things might come out. That you can help them to provide the transformation they're really looking for. Now, should you become a coach? Yes, it's a great industry. If you're getting into this just to make money, then I'd say no. If you're getting into it to help people, absolutely. We need good people in the coaching industry. The third step I want to talk about, third tip, is you got to think of this as a your coaching practice is a business. And I'm real serious about that because you get a lot of people and I'm not, I don't want to bash anybody. A lot of people are just helping out and um, trying to help people through some things. But this is a business. You know, become an entre entrepreneur. You know, one, there, there's some money you can make in here. But two, when people pay for something, they're more apt to follow through. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever done something for free? Gotten into a program for free? Maybe it's a course. Maybe you Googled something and here was this free thing so you had to read it, but you know you didn't really pay attention to it. But then have you ever paid for a course? 
and it might have cost some money? Where was your mind then? What I found, and when I started this, I was told I should actually do some free coaching. And I have a training course. So I put together an, an offer and I got a couple people in to become a free coaching thing. And you know what? It was not a good experience. And from two reasons, because they just weren't personally invested. So when people pay for coaching, guess what? They're invested. And when they're invested in you, that means you become invested in them. And your whole goal is to provide a transformation. And that all depends on what type of coach you are. As a business coach, my goal is to get my coaching clients that next transformation of scaling their business, of maybe starting a business, of finding something that's holding them back to where they're not making the income they want to make. If you're a life coach, it could be something totally different. If you're a mindset coach, there's so many people in any coaching program I've been involved, guess what's in there? There is always a section on mindset because there's so many things that hold you back. Could be fear of failure, could be fear of being ridiculed, could be somebody told you a long time ago that you aren't any good at anything, so you actually believe that. It could be a fear of money. Some people have a fear of making money because they've heard this throughout their life that guess what? Money is evil. No, it's not evil. Do you know what you can do by making more money? Do you know how many people you can help? So, I'm going to throw this back at you. The question was, should you become a coach? I believe you should. Do you need to be certified? No. So how do you become a coach and get paid? One, you get good at what you do. And that's by practicing, by working with other coaches, I don't think I'll ever go without a coach again because I, I just keep learning about Mark and learning about my profession and learning about where I can take people and how to get them there. That's the biggest thing. How do I get people to that next step? So, hey, if you got any value from this, I would love it if you'd share it. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, hit that notification button. If you're listening to this on my podcast, follow me. But share it with your friends. Now, hang on. I got something for you. I'm doing a free masterclass. It's really cool. Because I show you how to build the best coaching program for you. How you can get the best pro coaching program, not only for you, but for the people in there, inside your program, where they have access to training stuff 24 seven and they grow inside extremely well. If you want to attend that masterclass, it's marknelsononline.com forward slash free masterclass. Just register and I'll take you where you need to go. Y'all take care. Bye.